All right, guys, today we're in a uh, 2006 Volkswagen GTI. We just saw the Dengen GW, uh, GW1L VW1. Uh, GW1L1 connects behind the radio. Uh, we also make a custom version. Um, we make the cable to connect it. If you had an iPod dock in the center console, the dock, not the cable. And also, if you had another radio with the CD change, you could connect it there. Um, I, unit's really simple. It's iPod and auxiliary. Comes with the iPod cable. The auxiliary cable is actually sold separately. Um, this is a Pro Clip mount. Uh, this is, it's a dashboard, which is the piece that attaches to the car, and there's a separate piece that holds the iPod. Uh, I apologize, but this one is actually not designed for this unit, this uh, iPod I'm using. Um, all right, so today what I'm doing, using is a fifth generation iPod Touch. All right, uh, this is an Apple 30 pin to lightning cable conversion. So the lightning cable is a new version. Um, all right, so if you plug it into here, it works perfect. Um, so, the way this unit works, when you're on CD5, if I'm not playing, it goes track up and track down. Alright. So, it does actually pretty good because if you look at 3 and 13, I'm going to jump to 13 and it's going to jump to 23. Watch. So, that's the way that works. Um, you still have your AM, your FM, your CD. Oh, when you hit CD, you got your in-dash changer. And then when you hit CD, again, I'm not gonna wait for it. It says EXT, that's your external changer. If you had satellite, satellite would be disabled, but all you gotta do is move, move three pins, or um, we sell a little piece that's a splitter, so you don't have to move the pins around. Um, you still got full control from the iPod. Now check this out, CD1. Now you go up through your playlist. If you look over here, one of eight. All these playlists have eight songs in them. Did you see it moves? Three, one of eight. This is four, one of eight. Five, one of eight. It's all Anthony Robbins. He's a motivational speaker. Listen to them on the way in and out of work. Uh, one of six is the seventh one. And then you go back. And that's your final outlaw. Now, you're still on CD1. Uh, you can either, you go back to CD5. And now you can go track up and track down. All right. Also, when you turn off the car, you know it will pause. Turn back on the car. It'll actually turn back on. If you have a regular iPod, it will shut off. Actually, this will shut off eventually too. It has that, you know, that three minute you haven't touched the delay. All right. Now, um, this also has an aux, so with the aux, you can just plug it into the bottom of the headphone jack. Alright. <clears throat> Full control from here. You know what I just did? There you go. Alright. Now, um, if you have a phone, you can actually use the phone to do, uh, like, a phone call audio. So I'm going to call the shop through a headphone. Now, what it's going to happen is that because of the headphone jack, you're going to hear the call through the car speakers, but I'm going to speak into the mic. You know why I have two lockers, you got feedback. Intake car stereo, man, speaking, may I help you? Hey, it's me, can you hear me? Yep, I hear you fine. Thank you. All right, see, that was easy. Uh, you can also use it to do phone calls, whatever. I mean, music, <coughs> anything like that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's a great unit made by Denshin, the company that makes the uh, factory iPod adapter, so it's OEM quality. Um, uh, right now, like I said, you have to use a converter. By the time you watch this video, there'll probably be a cable available. Um, I'm not sure on the specifics on how much it's going to be or anything like that yet. But like I said, by the time you watch this, it's probably uh, been out. But uh, Oh, did I show you steering controls? I think I did. Let's do it again. Why not? You know? Well, you didn't have to press play. See, here's what happened. I turned it on. I pressed. My play. name is Final Outlaw. Smarter. Some of them aren't that smart. Some of them, if you hit play right away, it sends a signal to play or pause, and then it just pauses. All right. So that's that. Look through zero controls. Oh, you know what? It's a GTI, so you gotta go into the audio menu. All right. All right. That's pretty much it. Uh, videos brought to you by nfitcarstereo.com. We sell and install. We also ship worldwide. Um, if you have a shop, we can also sell you the cable. Um, 
And yeah, that's it. I mean, we've been selling indention for like 10 years at this point. So we're really familiar with the product and company. And, you know, we're very happy they came out with this product for Volkswagen. But anyway, nfitcarstereo.com. Sell and install. Ship worldwide. Thank you for watching.